Bonjour Leo and welcome or welcome back to my channel, Claude here. Today I'm going to be doing your messages from your ancestors for the month of June. So I hope you're all doing well and that you've had a good month so far. Now, as always, please remember, those are general readings, they will not resonate with everybody, so take what resonates and just drop the rest. And if you know you resonate better with your Moon, Venus or Rising sign, by all means, do check those readings out too. Now, what do my Leo querents need to hear from their ancestors for the month of June, please? What advice do we have for them? So your first message is card 43, Overflow, Overwhelm and Plenty. This reduces to number 7, which is the number of experience and confidence. This card came out for Aries as well, as an aside. Then number 2, Beloved, Radical Acceptance. And then card 23, which reduces to number 5. Now 5 is a big number in tarot because it represents changes. And this is the fortune's wheel. Luck and right timing. Okay, let me put my deck over there. So, your ancestors are giving you a very, very clear message here. Um, that overwhelm and plenty is coming your way. So this is prosperity and abundance. This is, you see the water represents the um, emotions and it's overflowing from all of the towers on this artwork. I hope you can see it. It's also green, which indicates heart chakra. So this really talks about your heart being completely filled with joy, happiness, contentment. It's a beautiful energy. Um, and you know, it, as I said, it's number seven is experience and confidence. It comes from having gone through things, you know, from a few challenges um, that life threw at you. But this is what's coming your way, because it does say, number five, changes, fortune's wheel, luck and right timing. They're saying that they are lining things up for you, that now is your time, you know, to get all of that happiness um, and the contentment, you know, for your heart. They're saying that, you know, things are gonna fall into place and it's gonna appear to you as if it's like by magic. It's just gonna be like boom, 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 and everything's gonna be just right where it needs to be um, and at the right time. Um, so this is really them saying to you to look forward to the near future because there's some really, really nice things um, coming your way. And it's to do with the heart, okay, the beloved radical acceptance, um, this can talk about, because it's number two, which in tarot and, you know, numerology, generally speaking, can talk about duality, polarities, but also um, relationships. Now this could represent your higher self and your conscious self, and them meshing together, and being in acceptance of who you really are, having done the work, you know, the shadow work, and emerging, as you know someone who's very happy and content because you have gone through the dark moments and now you know things are working out for you because you've done the work otherwise it may talk about a relationship you know um, coming your way or that you're in already and indicate things moving forward it could be a friendship turning into a, um, a romantic uh, relationship for instance you know, there is fire image here, the heart on fire. So there is a lot of passion going on here. And it talks about acceptance. So accepting the other person or them accepting you for who you are and you feeling this sense of being completely and utterly accepted by someone else and seen for who you are. So it's a beautiful message. Let's clarify this with the towel. Clarify these messages for my real querents, please. I 
think that's about right. So we have the Page of Pentacles. Oh wow, the Ten of Cups. Hierophant, Major Arcana here. Bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Cups. Okay, beautiful. So, with luck and right timing, sorry, my cards are slipping from my hands. With the luck and right timing, and we get the Knight of Cups, I see this as an offer coming your way, because the Knights represents uh, movement forward, action being taken, whether it is you taking things into your own hands, or someone deciding to take action. And the Cups represent the emotional realm, so they represent, uh, obviously, you know, your emotions and feelings, what makes you happy and happy, um, but also... Um, love and relationships, generally speaking, also your intuition to a certain extent, this is water energy. And so the Knight of Cups could be someone coming your way with an offer of love, and, you know, an offer of an apology, um, or it could be you taking steps towards your ideal life, because the Knight of Cups holds this one cup with his happiness, his dreams, his ideals in there, and takes action. So take what resonates and remember that there are no genders attached in the cards because this is a general reading. This is just the energy of the cards. So under the Overwhelm and Plenty, you have the Page of Pentacles, and pages represents news coming your way. They also represent new direction, and Pentacles is to do with the physical realm. So this is to do with either home life or work life, something to do within those two domains. It could be to do with, you know, partnerships at work and your career. Uh, it could be people you study with if you're not employed, or it could be people uh, within your home, you know, um, those kind of things. But nevertheless, and whatever reason you are here for, this is to do with a new direction or some news coming your way. And right in the middle of your reading, you've got this Ten of Cups, which is a beautiful energy. Um, ten in Tarot is completion, the end of a cycle. I've explained the Cups as the emotional realm. The Ten of Cups is all your Cups being filled with happiness, joy and contentment. This is very often referred to as the... Um, sorry, this is escaping me, <laughs> the for, um, happy ever after card, there you go, sorry about that, yeah, the happy ever after card. So this is really um, sheer happiness coming your way. Um, it could represent a very committed long-term relationship if that is what the Ten of Cups is for you, obviously, you know, take what resonates. But it's beautiful because it is positioned right under radical acceptance. So this is saying that whoever is entering your life accepts you for who you are, or you accept them for who you are, you know, you see them, and this is bringing utter fulfillment and happiness to your heart. And it is followed by the Hierophant. Now, this is a major arcana, and to me as a tarot reader, it has significant um, importance, because the minors represent the day-to-day -day events, situations, and people, whereas the major arcana represent the big energies on the life path. And to me, they are the direct intervention of your spirit team. So in this case here, this is your ancestors talking to you. And the Hierophant, and there are layers to the cards, it does not just mean this, but it can represent old institutions, such as marriage. Um, and so obviously I see this with the Knight of Cups coming, there could be a proposal coming your way. Um, but next to the Ten of Cups, you see it's sandwiched between those two cards, it really shows um, something, some serious commitment um, and saying that it's right under luck and right timing, it's going to come in d in divine order, this is divinely orchestrated because the Hierophant is also divine guidance so I'm seeing a significant relationship coming in uh, that's really going to bring you so much happiness and all of this is orchestrated by your ancestors they they are telling you, you know, that this is coming, that the dark, the shadow that you've had to go through, it's going to change now. Things are going to move forward in the most positive way, which is beautiful. So, can we have some final messages for my Leo Querens, please?
Oh, okay. <laughs> Let me just cut my deck before I talk to you about this jumper. So we have got 41 sovereignty. 41 reduces to number 5, which is the number of change. And this is a card saying you are the sovereign of your life. Your ancestors are telling you to take your life into your own hands. Um, you have action with the Knight of Cups, so it could be you, you know, going towards your ideal relationship or dream, or you making uh, some kind of proposition. But this is really saying, you know, you do you, basically. This is your life, it's in your hand, and you choose what's best for you, for your happiness. And then we have beauty, yep. So card 20, number 2. Again, relationships, number, you've got a number two here as well. Beauty, so, you know, seeing the beauty in someone with radical acceptance, this is the message I'm getting. Um, seeing the beauty of a personality, you know, of what's deep within the skin, not just, um, you know, external factors. Really looking out for it, you know, having your eyes wide open to what this beauty is in your life. So I hope you've enjoyed your journey for the cards with me. If you did or if the message helped you in any ways, do let me know in the comment box below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate your time. I wish you a wonderful month and I will see you again very soon. Until next time, au revoir.